game at uh, last week. Yeah, it was disappointing. Um, I don't think uh, as a squad we were all on the same uh, same page, and that's the most disappointing thing about it because you know we are putting some impressive performances this year, and especially the group, the non-international group, and you know especially in the LV and some of the league games. Yeah, yeah. Bit of ground to make up, though. Not that huge amount, but just some slipped under sound. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, that is, you know, if we want to be in a top four come the end of the season for the playoff places, these are the games we've got to win. And every year we say it, the group of players who are, who are around when the internationals are away, the ones who will define the season, I suppose, yeah. uh, come, come the, 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 the Pro 12, sorry. Yeah. You know, um, and we've got to raise our standards a little bit. Um, yeah. We've had a, a good week of training and uh, hopefully we'll take that into this weekend now. Cause you don't want to suppose raise your standards. It's a tough place to play. Leinster, isn't it? You know they they, take, you know, they tend to put sides to the sword to end up at hand on yeah. the top of the game. Out there. That's that is what it is. They they they're not European champions, or they're not. You know, they haven't been a top team in Europe for nothing. Uh, yeah. They have played really well. You know, even their their second team players are pushing their first yeah. team players for places. There's a, there's a there's a they've got a good squad there. And, um, yeah. You know, and that. That just shows where they end up at the end of the season. Yeah. Been frustrating few months. Yeah, well, I came back after yeah. after the twelve weeks and I played against the Dragons. Um, I was on the bench for a couple of um, yeah. games and uh, just had a, another bang on it, which which, yeah. which didn't help. Taking it took a couple of weeks off and uh, yeah. to be honest, I feel stronger now than it did before, which is uh, which is which is good. And you know, uh, just want to play some rugby now. Yeah. That's the important thing, I suppose, just getting around the games and you've had Yeah, definitely. It's uh, incredible kind of strength and depth as well, both here and uh, with Wales in the background. Yeah, definitely. You know, uh, there's a lot of competition here, which brings out the best in us, and not just this season, but last season as well. And, you know, pushes each other and you get the best out of each other then. And that's, that's what's probably helped us this year and last year that we've had good competition. And probably to an extent it's helped us in the. In Regional and European games as well. Plenty still to play for us this season. Yeah, you know we're in two playoffs already, but you know the, the league is the big one, and we yeah. that's our bread and butter. And we've got to we have got to show what we're capable of doing in that in that competition. I suppose having finished fifth last year, just what was it, a point outside the playoffs. If you do make it this year, it does show an improvement as well. Yeah, you know we're more than capable of uh, of reaching uh, the playoffs. We've beat any team on our day when we play yeah. the expansive rugby that we can and, yeah. and that's important but it's about getting every player on the pitch at that time all on the same page yeah. and all firing on and all cylinders yeah. you know, uh, when we're like that we are a hard team to beat yeah. Yeah. in that respect the last couple of weeks been I suppose a wake up call but does it give you that extra bit of motivation um, yeah you know, for me, I've come back from injury and I just want to get on the field and play. But yeah. for others, I think it's a chance for them to prove themselves while the internationals away and yeah. you know make a stamp on that jersey. Yeah. And uh, you know, we'll uh, and when they when the internationals come back, they've got to be you know showing that what they what they've done while the internationals been away is you know yeah. is good enough. Yeah, because I said you've got a European quarterfinal there. I suppose that's a target for a lot of players who are you know, to play yeah. that game as well. Yeah, definitely. You know, and these players will be playing in that. Those big, those big finals come at the end of the season, and yeah. no, there's not a bad chance now to show that. You know, yeah. we we need those players stepping up to yeah. raise the standards um, and come up with the scarlet standards, and we yeah. don't want our scarlet players going down to going, yeah. to going down a level. You know, we need to be consistently playing the same level every week. Yeah. Be some statement if you can do something in Leinster as well, because they don't lose many. No, they they don't. They're a strong team at home. They've made that quite a hard place to go, especially with the the, the crowd they get there. So, you know, it's uh, it's impressive, and um, you know, we've just got to go there and we've got to try and grind out a result, um, which which will be tough. And you know, um, it's not it's not not doable. It's, we can do it. Um, just need, like I said, we need everyone to be on the same yeah. the same page come game time. But as a player, you probably prefer playing in front of sixteen thousand there than a couple of thousand in Glasgow. Oh, yeah, the, the, you know when you can quiet a crowd of sixteen thousand down because yeah. you're playing well, yeah. then you know you make heads turn and 
it shows what you're capable of and we've done that a couple of times this season already and I think we're more than capable of doing it again. I um, think I'm quite gone Scarlet's way the last couple of weeks. Uh, no, I think uh, last couple of weeks, like uh, like we've said really, we've come off the boil a bit. Yeah. You know, um, it's been two tough places to go up and sail, you know, and up in uh, Glasgow, but um, I don't think we've quite been there to be honest, but hopefully not. Yeah. Friday night we can put things right and get a victory out in um, Ireland. Yeah, tough ask. Though. Yeah, very tough ask. You know, um, Leinster they're one of the top teams in Europe, but um, hopefully you know we've we've had a good week's training, we've had two tough days, but uh, hopefully we can come away with a victory. Yeah, is it when you have two tough defeats like Sale and Glasgow, is it difficult to pick yourselves up after those, or does it give you that extra motivation to put things right? Does it? I think a bit of both really, you know, everyone's, the squads, you know, everyone's got there really, we've lost, you know, they've been yeah. quite narrow defeats as well, we could yeah. have won both games really if you put things right, but um, yeah. Yeah, like you said, hopefully uh, yeah. we put things right for Friday. Yeah. Uh, um, how do you feel your own game's coming off? Um, yeah, not too bad, you know, a um, couple, in, uh, couple of mistakes against Glasgow, which um, I was a bit annoyed with myself about, but um, Hopefully not. I, we've been working hard this week on my um, passing and my kicking, so hopefully things will be alright for Friday night. Yeah, started with a bang with that break, didn't you? Yeah. It almost opened up for you. Yeah, nearly. I yeah, just couldn't quite get on the last defender, but yeah, yeah. nice little break. Yeah. You know, when, obviously, a lot of people are talking of you in contention for the Six Nations before the squad was picked. That give you a lot of confidence? Uh, I didn't really like to think too much about it, really. I just right. wanted to concentrate on playing well for the Scarlets, and you know, if yeah. anything else it comes, obviously a bonus then, but. No, I didn't think too much of it. It's just gone straight over the game with the with the Scarlets. Yeah. But I suppose if you play in scrum half or one of the regions, and you could be in contention anyway. But there's there's, there's that you know Carla death here, isn't it? Yeah, maybe. But you know, there's there's a lot of good scrum halves in the yeah. in the squad here, yeah, and you know, there's a lot of good young scrum halves in Wales as well. So I think I just got to concentrate on my own game and see what happens. In terms of the league, you've slipped to seventh. It's important to you know the, you know, let the top you know four or five get away from you a bit. Yeah, you know, like I said, uh, is a massive game, and obviously, yeah, we've got three the next Thursday night as well. That's another yeah. crucial match for us at home, yeah. yeah. So, you know, two um, two big wins, and they could put us right back up in the league. Yeah, because obviously, you're still competing in on three fronts at the moment, which must, which must be pleasing for everyone. Yeah, you know, and that's what we spoke about at the start of the season, is trying to get into playoffs and semi finals. Oh, yeah. So, um, you know, I think we've reached two now, but hopefully, we can get into the league playoffs. I'll be, I think, I'll be yeah. very, very good at Yeah, especially, I suppose, I've just missing out last year as well, isn't it? So close. Yeah, you know, um, a couple of points we were off last year, yeah. so I think uh, we've got to try and, you know, really try and try our best to get into the top four this year. And then are they are they side to beat in the in the cold twelve this year? Yeah, they're one of the teams right then yeah. in Munster, especially uh, in the yeah. home patch. Yeah. So you know, like I said, it's going to be hard, but yeah. I think, like I said, we've had a good week's training, so I think you know we've got really got a chance to come away with a victory. Yeah, I suppose they like to play a similar way to, to yourselves, and they like to give the ball. And yeah, you know, they they chuck the ball around just like us, and they got. Quite a good pack, and you got a few sharp players in the box as well, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Yeah. Great for the boys as well to see people like Lou and, and uh, Shingler getting their caps on the weekend. Yeah, you know, um, Shingler, Shingler was outstanding, and he, you know, he played the full 80, and when Lou came on as well, he was good as well. Yeah, yeah fair play to the boys there. Uh, they've really been playing well for the Scarlets as well, so it just shows yeah. you know, the hard work's paid off. Yeah, I suppose it does show that you know if you, you do put in a few big games for the, at regional level, you can notice. Yeah, that's true, yeah. And some of the lose a bit of a card if they're out of place. Yeah. So Voice must be jumping. Ah, yeah, yeah. You know, Lou's been working hard. He's yeah. gave him the last couple of years, and yeah. I think he's deserved it.